first of all, I want to thank the independent group for bringing this debate forward, but I have my doubts and reservations about, uh, you know, taking uh, money out of uh, uh, people's pay packets and hand it over to trade unions. And for too long, long, Minister, people are coming to me from different sectors and walks of life where the trade unions have been left down and left down very badly. And it was mentioned here already about the CUH hospital and the housekeeping staff in, um, in Cork. In Cork University Hospital, where they're not allowed to take their holidays or their annual leave, and 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 supervisors can, they are facilitated, but the army workers can't, and they're under savage pressure. That that's just one of them. Um, as an employer, and and have been employing people for uh, almost 40 years now, and uh, have been involved, I, I I I'm proud to be an employer, but there's a constant bombardment and attack. On, 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 on employers coming from the, the left side here continuously and in small employers, small employers in rural places are under pressure like they never were before. Many of them are closing down, closing down, they can't continue. And if we we'll add more rules and regulations to them and, and more paper uh, requirements from them, the, this, this, this will only hurt them further. And if you don't have employers, you won't have employees. Because in, uh, if the employers have to give up, uh, the, the, the employees won't have a job. And, and I know as good as anyone else how quick Friday evening comes when you have uh, people to pay and, and families depending on you. And I always did my best to meet that, and, and our family does that. But uh, I'm sorry, I can't support this in this uh, way.